In recent years, computer science was one of the fastest growing and most popular degree in the world. Digital technology is absolutely everywhere and companies are in dire need of competent software developers. However, this year has been pretty damn brutal for the market with over 100,000 people losing their jobs. So you might be wondering, is majoring in computer science in 2023 worth it? Hey guys, I'm Vlad, a software engineering student at McGill University and today we'll break down everything you need to know about majoring in computer science and if it's the right choice for you. So first of all, what is computer science? Computer science is the study of computers and computational systems. It includes the theory, design, development, and application of computer software and hardware. From programming to machine learning, from cybersecurity to game development, computer science is a very vast and interesting field. Quite often, when discussing degrees, you might also hear about computer engineering and software engineering as options. So what's the difference? Well, computer science has a bigger focus on computational theory and algorithms. Computer engineering is at the intersection between computer science and electrical engineering. It blends hardware engineering with software design to allow for the development of computer systems and its components. While software engineering, my degree, is a specialized discipline within computer science that focuses on building and maintaining software systems. So there should be less theory involved and more practical experience. Small little caveat is that these programs really differ from university to university. At McGill, these three programs often take the same foundational courses with small differences. For example, computer science might have more math and proof-based classes. Software engineering might have a bit less math and more physics and electrical engineering while computer engineering has a bunch more electrical engineering stuff the good thing is that any of these three degrees open the doors to the same careers you can become a software engineer a data engineer a data scientist a machine learning engineer there's a bunch of options if you want to go into hardware engineering the optimal choice would obviously be to choose computer engineering but for the rest it really doesn't matter so what are the pros of majoring in computer science as you all probably know the pay is amazing in the united states the average software engineer makes over one hundred fifteen thousand dollars making it one of the highest paying careers especially when you consider that you only need a bachelor's degree for it there are many careers that pay a lot more such as lawyers doctors dentists but to become one, you're either going to have to spend years studying at school and graduating with mountains of debt, or you're going to be working 80 hour work weeks, which isn't great. In software engineering, as you continue to grow and specialize, your income will grow proportional to your experience. The future outlook is also pretty great, with over 370,000 expected new jobs being created between 2021 and 2031 making it one of the fastest growing careers in the world. With technology everywhere and with the rise of artificial intelligence, experienced software engineers will be needed in most, if not all, businesses. One of the biggest pros of software engineering for me is that it allows you for location freedom. With the pandemic, there was an important shift towards remote working, which allows you to work from anywhere in the world as long as you have a laptop and a stable internet connection. This is really amazing because it allows you to completely eliminate commute time, which is wasted time in my opinion, and it allows you to work from the comfort of your own home. Some companies even offer remote work with flexible hours, which allows you to dictate your schedule as you wish. Instead of working from nine to five like a normal job, you could be working seven to three, eight to four, or even take a random two hour break during the day and finish two hours later instead. Having the flexibility is just so cool. Another aspect of computer science that can be seen as a pro or a con depending on the person is that it requires a lifelong commitment to learning if you want to keep advancing. Personally, I see this as a big positive because I love learning new technologies and understanding how they can be used to solve existing problems. Tech is just fun, but I understand why this might be seen as a con for some people so just keep that in mind. What are the biggest cons of majoring in computer science? First, there is an oversaturation at the entry level. Throughout its history, computer science has always been a field with a low barrier of entry because you did not need a PhD or any special equipment to become a developer. You only need a laptop and a solid internet connection. This led to an influx of new developers who are either self-taught or who are coming from coding boot camps, creating a lot of competition for entry level positions. This oversaturation is even more pronounced with the layoffs that have occurred in 2023 because new graduates will have to compete with 
laid off engineers for entry-level roles. The good thing though is that senior and experienced software engineers are still in very high demand. So getting your foot in the door might not be an easy task, but once you build up some experience, your engineering skills are going to be in very high demand. Another con is that software engineering interviews are a very long and a very hard process. After submitting your application for a position, you might get an automated online assessment to complete, which involves solving a few technical questions. You will have to prepare by learning data structure and algorithms and by solving a bunch of lead code problems. If you do well on that assessment, HR will take a look at your resume. And if they're interested, you'll either have a technical or a behavioral interview. In a technical interview, you might have to solve one or more questions in front of an interviewer who will judge your solution based on how efficient it is. On the other hand, in a behavioral interview, your soft skills are crucial because you will discuss your experience and you will try to convince the interviewer that you are the right fit for this world. This is a pretty standard interviewing process for a lot of software engineering positions, but it can get a lot harder and a lot longer depending on the company. For example, some companies might have an online assessment, which leads to a bunch of technical rounds, a bunch of behavioral rounds, then team matching before you even get an offer. Take this information with a grain of salt because it varies wildly from company to company and you might only have one technical interview to complete. For the last con, you are going to be an office worker who spends eight or more hours in front of their screen every single day, five days a week. This is of course not only specific to computer science as most knowledge workers will spend their days sat on a chair in front of a computer. It is still very important to mention in my opinion because office jobs can lead to a bunch of health problems and a sedentary lifestyle, which isn't great. This is why regular exercise is so important. So go to the gym, go for a run, bike to work, play sports with friends, whatever you want, but move your body. Why did I choose software engineering? I know it might sound very cliche, but from a young age, I've always loved technology and tinkering with computers. I also like learning, so being paid to learn how to build software that has the potential to reach millions of people sounds pretty cool to me. Of course, the pay is great, and I love remote work and flexible hours, which allows me to take control over my time and my location. So even if software engineering is quite saturated at the entry level, and even if the interviews are really hard, I'm confident that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. So there we have it. The world of software engineering is vast, challenging, but very rewarding. So is computer science worth it in 2023? I think it is, but you're going to have to find the answer yourself. Thank you for watching everyone. If you have any questions or thoughts about computer science, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.